Hello, everyone. Uh, for those of you I haven't had an opportunity to meet, my name is Ronnie Herndon. I'm the director of Albina Head Start. And if you're new to our program, I want to say thank you for joining us. And thank you for your willingness to, to help us out. I know for all of us, this is a very, very different year. And my main concern, and I'm sure it's yours, is to make sure that all of us remain safe. That's why we have all the procedures in place uh, for safety purposes, wearing a mask when you're inside, uh, making sure that whenever possible there's social distancing, and also trying to limit the number of people who are ever in a building at the same time. All of those are meant to keep us all safe. And I want to thank folks who worked hard over the summer to get us prepared for this year. It has been very difficult. As you know, most of what we're doing now is online. Information that we will be sending home to parents to help them work with their children, all of that's gonna be online. We will be delivering some packages to people that have work that they can use at home for their children. And being online, I don't know about you, but for me, it means that there are a lot of new skills that we have to learn. And at times it may be difficult, but in, in thinking about that, when children come into the classroom from almost day one, we ask them to do things differently, uh, to eat differently, to line up differently, to play with each other, sometimes differently. So if we're gonna ask children continually to do things differently, then we should hold ourselves to the same standard. And yes, it may take a while, to learn these new skills, but we all can. It's just practice and a willingness to do things differently. We have no choice. That's the, the era that we're in with this health crisis that's still around us. So again, the number one concern is that everyone stay safe. Uh, a couple of people I'd like to say a big thank you to uh, Elaine Harrison Elaine was the person that came up with the idea to distribute free diapers to families this summer. And every week, diapers have gone out to literally 300 families. And Nicole Chipman has been right there doing the scheduling, which isn't easy to make sure that the diapers arrive the right place at the, the right time. And another person is Carol Carmichael. Carol has managed our food distribution. Uh, effort this summer. She, along with an organization called Hopscots, which makes those uh, boxes available. I think now uh, we've distributed close to 2,000 food boxes during this summer. And along with Carol, the, the folks who've been right there with her each time, Craig Vaughn, uh, Jaime, Alfred have been there all summer long distributing those boxes and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart because it's meant a big difference to many many families and speaking of food service uh, the question has been coming up are we going to be able to provide food to children during the school year we're working on that and trying to get a source and a method of doing it we're, right now we're discussing this with Portland Public Schools our, our normal food vendor Centennial said that they weren't able to prepare individual meals every day for all the children that we serve. And you're talking about close to 800 children daily that we feed. So we're trying to, to figure that out. We're trying to work with Portland Public Schools to see if they're able to make that possible for us. And some have asked about getting Chromebooks or tablets or computers for staff who may not have that availability at home. We're working on that also, to try to ensure that everybody has a way in which you can easily do your work from home. Uh, stay tuned, we hope to have some more information in the next week, maybe two weeks to, to address that. Uh, my remarks are going to be very, very brief. I'm sure I'll have an opportunity to talk with all of you uh, during the next several months. I, like you, have no idea how long this is going to last. At this point, we are following Portland Public Schools, and they've said that they're going to be closed until the first part of November, and then check the check the science and see exactly if it has the 
the COVID virus let up. Uh, hopefully it will not be spreading as much as it is now. So that will determine whether or not we open in November, we will be following Portland Public Schools. So let me close by saying again, thank you to all the new people that are with us. Uh, we were approved to serve uh, 64 new early Head Start children. As you can imagine, that's a lot of staff uh, that we've had to hire. So our, our, our uh, folks in human resources have been pretty busy. Lisa and her crew have been pretty busy this summer with interviewing uh, folks who have applied for the job. And for again, all of you all who are new, thank you very, very much. So hopefully we will have a very good year. Uh, it'll be different than any other year, but with all of us working together, all of us sending in, please, recommendations, suggestions, because there are gonna be times when we make mistakes. We'd like to correct them very, very quickly. So if you have suggestions or recommendations, please send them to me. My email address, if you don't have it, it's pretty simple, Ron Albina, one word, at AOL.com. Thank you all very, very much.